Oh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. I know. I just came back from my morning run. Well, I forgot. We're in another time zone. I mean, I still woke up at... I have this weird thing. I, I, I wake up at 5... Somewhere between 5 o'clock and 5.30. Whatever it is. What is this? Okay. Uh, it's kind of strange. Anyway, 5 o'clock and 5 30. But my point is, I usually get out at 6 o'clock. But we're 6 o'clock. I know Midwestern time, St. Louis time, which is like an hour behind the New York time. And, but I think what happens is, when, especially when I travel, my body just acclimates. Wherever I'm in the world, I'm still waking up at, you know, somewhere between 4.30 and then 6 o'clock, wherever I'm in the world. Going to the local time and blood pressure pills. I got all my vitamins. I got it. I got, no, I don't have any vitamin D. Well, I get out in the sun. That's enough vitamin D for me, I suppose. All right. Water. Yeah, Debbie has a filter like I have in South Africa, you know, Brit not, not one of those Brita like filter things. So I actually like that water. I do I do like the alkaline stuff, but I like that water too. Mm. Mm. But here's what I was thinking as I was going on a walk up. Here's a let me tell you and I'll tell you some other some other time about that. Look, here's the thing. Um so I, I there's certain people I listen to on YouTube. You know, some for entertainment purposes only because they're so hilarious to me. Other things for other things. But there's this guy, uh, David, uh, David, David, David. Oh, man, I see his name. Hoffman. Uh, he's an archivist. He's been filming at least since the 60s, you know. And so I I just love his channel, right? Because he's an archivist, right? And a while ago, and it's about three weeks ago, I said to him, no, because all the stuff is happening. Don't you have some stuff? Blah, blah, blah. He sent me, I think he does these form things come back. Anyway, he put one on today. That was really, really interesting. Um, and it had to do with police brutality. He had some sort of hearing. I had all these police commissioners and stuff like that. Police officials, you know, um, the, the union people. And then these mayors, other people, preachers and stuff like that. Talking about this only now. I'll, I'll try to put a link. Uh, uh, talking about police brutality back this we're talking about this had to be the the early early 70s yeah must be the early 70s late 60s uh, anyway things they were saying then is that, so here's the thing look let's just make this let's just cut to the chase as they say here's the thing as I wear my police you know remember back to the police wear those little reflective kind of thingies um, but here's the thing the answers, the stuff they were talking about then, you know, including uh, these uh, a sniper rifle, whatever have you, the same thing goes around. It's interesting. I was happened to be up in New York and I was talking to some some cops and they was and they were saying, yeah, Harlem at night, they even got the AK force and they got snipers and whatever have. You. But this is the thing that they're reporting that they're saying. Like somebody could have said, they were saying it, and that's the reason that the police have to, you know, be. They was militarizing the police on the threat of uh, basically black liberation movements, you know, the Panthers and stuff like people carrying, carrying guns, you know, niggas with guns kind of thing. But what's interesting to me was that uh, the same issues is the same, they're talking about back then, what, 50, 40 years, whatever it is, until now, almost 50 years ago, and now, yeah, 50 years ago, and now, same, same exact things. And it's just, it's baffling to me that, in fact, even Alan Poussin, was on was on was on a pound pound. You know, um, the the guy that worked with Bill Cosby. When the Cosby Show was very successful because they had psychologists on this on the show. You know, helping with the script and whatever whatever, whatever have you. And we don't have that kind of thing today. Um, anyway, so he was here. Then they're all saying the same, basically the same thing. There's one side against the other. This one guy, he's talking about talking about the black militants. One thing, but he was saying that he's uh, the white guy, of course, uh, chief or whatever he was, a police official. I guess he was. He's a car carrying thing for the NRA, and they're respectable people. But well, wait a second, black people in the NRA too. What's uh, how come that wasn't? See all these kind of bogus conversations they always have. Why I because. They can de deflect. They can, you know, blah, 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 blah. There's only really one answer. You can't get away from it. If these things happen, it's been happening for 50 years, the same, the same thing, uh, let's call it r rotation, 
revolution, rotation, rotation, rotation. What what the only thing that's new to me, and I've been around, I've been I've been in this struggle for a long time, over 50 years. And when I when I what's come to, to, to my mind, there's only one thing, one thing only. Reparations that is the debt due A D O S the North American descendants of chattel slavery. Pay that debt due, then we can talk. Don't want no cause even that even that, that thing they talked they talked about the current commission, that little uh, thing. So my point is nothing has changed and nothing is going to change until we get reparations for a D O S. It's as simple as that. There's no well, how come now? But back then they wasn't talking about this because we weren't identified. That's the point. We wasn't specifically identified. These are the people that you you did wrong to. These are the people that that that. These are the people. These are the people. These are the people. It is easy. I mean, what's so mind blowing about that? So there you go. I think I'm going to start a series. Well, I'm going to start a series. But my point is, if you ain't talking about, I don't care, whatever you talk about, say, I, I say, that's, that's, that's nice. Um, reparations. Yeah, but if we, 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 we can set up this committee, reparations, give me the, give, give us the, 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 the payments, not just the debt due, but all else is the repair, the repair now. We'll, we'll be in charge of our own repair. We do not need a, a wife. There's this uh, woman, she's got this, uh, now it came out a couple of years ago, this wife fragility, whatever, White fragility, yeah, white fragility. I think it was called. You know, this this nice dude, good. You know, you know, and 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 she's going. Oh yeah, I've I've I've, I've, I've and you read her. But if you look at her book, I did. Actually, my brother buddy in New York was reading it. He was giving some passage. Said this sounds like Neely Fuller, and I was trying to give her the benefit of that. But you know, blah 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 blah. But the more I think about it, why do you want to go to the white lady? <laughs> go to Neely Fuller Jr. <laughs> The compensatory concept, producejustice.com. That's the source. You, you white people, everybody else who victims of, if, even if you're not, you want to solve the race problem, you go to that. Now, then you go to that, you can deal with that, right? You deal with that. Meanwhile, reparations. Give a, we'll, deal, we'll deal with the repair, you deal with the racism. You see, there's two things happening, two tracks. Like a train. Two tracks, right? You have racism, white supremacy has got to be dealt with. That is the responsibility of the entire living society right now. Okay? That's that's their, you know, and everybody, read the book. You know, you know White for Children, people, after you finish reading White for Children, then go to get Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s book at Producer Session, and then you can go to the source. You can, he has the answers how to deal with this for, for everybody. Then, as you deal with that, all those people that are black and whatever they white, they 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 white supremacists. They they're not white supremacists. Everybody else, they deal with that. Meanwhile, reparations, repair, a DOS. That's specific. So specific. so we'll deal with that while the entire society deals with the racism that they continue to perpetuate. The white supremacy they continue to perpetuate through the system that they have they have just nurtured and watered and and and, and you know put, they have put you know put little sprouts in and let sprouts up in different ways. You'll deal with that. And actually, be, we can deal with both. But you know, ADS, I'd rather just you know just put my energy into. See how that works. Just wanted you to know, a little message from me. T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. Here in a little location. <laughs>